Hi everyone and welcome back to a new episode of BWD. As you can see here, if you try to run the code from episode number 4, it breaks. And on top of that, some of you reached out in the comment section to let me know that you guys were not able to run version 15 of PyTube. So today we're gonna learn how to patch the PyTube library, which in plain English means how to make PyTube work. But why do we need to patch PyTube in the first place? Is it unstable? Well, looking at the GitHub page, I just think they are struggling to find maintainers. So hopefully you won't need to do this in the future. But in the meantime, I think it's a very good idea to learn how to fix it by yourself. So the idea here for today is to teach you first how to patch, and second, make this video really valuable also for the future. But what do I mean by that? Well, we're gonna see it in a few minutes. If you are new to this channel or you are back watching this video, do not forget you can find timestamps in the video description below. And now, without further ado, let's get started! Alright, let's start by downloading the code from the PyTube series, available on the BWD GitHub page. As always, link in the video description below. Once the download is over, let's head to the PyTube folder, which can be found in the root directory of the repository. Great, now we're gonna create a new fresh Python environment. And this can be simply done by typing python -m space vm space env. Then let's activate it by typing source followed by env slash bin slash activate. Great, so if what I've just done is not clear, don't worry. In the coming months I'm gonna put out a video to teach you exactly how virtual environments work in Python, so do not forget to subscribe. In the meantime, just copy what I've done, and if you have any issue and something is breaking, just let me know in the comment section below. Ok, finally, let's install all the dependencies available in the requirements file. Alright, now let's head over to the code folder where we can find the script from episode number 4 of this series, and let's try to run it. As you can see, an exception pops out. That's because YouTube has recently introduced the vanity URLs, so let's see in plain English what that means. If we go to MrBeast's channel and then we try to share it, as you can see the URL is youtube.com slash at MrBeast, whereas before, instead of the channel name, there was just a bunch of random characters, which were of course harder to remember. This change has not been implemented yet in the PyTube library. Luckily for us, many pull requests have been submitted, so all we gotta do is to patch our code. So first, let's head over to the PyTube's GitHub page, and then go to the pull request section. And let's look for the word channel. As you can see, a few options are found, and we're gonna go with this one. Of course here I already know that this is the one that will fix our problem, that's why I'm going straight on this. Great, so where do we go from here? Well, to patch your code, we need first to see which files we need to change. So let's click on the Files Change section here, and as you can see, we find all the files that have been modified and all the changes. Next step is to grab each file. All we gotta do is to click here on the three dots and then click on View File. From here, there are two ways. First, you could click on the Download File button, or second, which is what we're gonna do here, click on the row button. As you can see, the row file is rendered on the screen. Great, now that we know which files have to be patched, the next step is to find where these files are on your laptop. So if you are on Linux or Mac, all you gotta do is to type which PyTube. The path displayed here tells us where the PyTube binaries are found, which is not exactly where we have to go, but kind of. If we then check where we are now by typing pwd, which by the way, if you don't know, stands for print working directory, as you can see, we are pretty close, so let's go there. Now that we are in the M folder, we won't go into the binary folder, and that's because that's not where the Python files are found, instead let's go to the lib folder. Notice that if you are on a Windows machine, you might not have this environment structure, so the name of these folders might be different. Anyway, that's not a big of a problem, because all you gotta do is just to try them all out. But how do you know when you found the right one? 
As you can see, I've just moved down the tree structure and ended up in this site packages folder. So if we list its content, as you can see here are many others folders, one for each library we have installed. And as you can see, here it is the PyTube library. So yeah, that's where we gotta go. And guys, if you are following this tutorial along and you are on a Windows machine and you got to this point, please write down in the comment section below the exact path so everyone can check it out. Thanks. Great. Now, if we go to the PyTube folder and we list its content, as you can see, there are many Python files. But what are these exactly? These are the exact same files that you can find on the GitHub page when you go to the PyTube folder. And these are the files which have been modified by the pull request. All right, let's finally see how to patch these files. All we gotta do is to go back to the pull request, click on the raw button for the file that we were watching, and then copy its URL. Then go back to the PyTube folder on your laptop. And remember, this folder is the PyTube folder within your environment. Do not confuse this with the other folder called PyTube found in the root directory of our repo. Great, then let's type in curl followed by the URL we have just copied. And as you can see, the content of the file is displayed on our screen. So now, instead of displaying the file on the screen, Let's update the existing file called cipher.py. All we gotta do is simply to type the exact same command followed by an arrow and then the name of the file, in this case cipher.py. And just like that, we have patched our code. Pretty easy, right? So now our job is not finished yet. And that's because the pull request changed other two files. Next one we have to patch is called channel.py. So here we're gonna repeat the exact same process. First, let's go to the file itself and then press the raw button. Then, let's grab its URL. Finally, let's use curl to patch the file on our local machine. However, pay attention here that the file is found under the contrib folder, as you can read in the URL. So when we redirect the output of the curl command, do not forget to type also this folder in the path. And that's why we're not gonna simply type channel.py, but rather contrib slash channel.py. Great, we are almost there, so let's repeat this one last time for the extra.py file. Perfect, now that we are finally done patching PyTube, the final step is to try this out. Let's get out of the M folder and move to the code folder, where we can run the download.py file to see if this still raises an exception. And here we go, we got this working. Great! Before we can close with this, let me explain why this video will be very helpful for you also in the future. As you can see, if we go to the root directory of this folder and list its content, now next to the code folder there is also a folder called patch. And if you clone this repo from GitHub, that's exactly what you're gonna see as well. So what is this? As you've seen in this video, Patching PyTube is a very boring process, and on top of that, it's really time consuming. In fact, here we went straight to the pull request I knew was gonna fix everything. But in reality, what you should have done was to first understand what the problem was exactly. Second, read all the recent pull requests and test them to find the one that fixes your problem. And this can take you a lot of time. So instead, here in the folder called patch, you will always find all the patched files. So then all you gotta do is simply to copy them from here. So every time in the future you have an issue with PyTube, as long as you cannot fix it by pip installing it, just come here and try to patch PyTube with all the files that you're gonna find in this folder. And if that still doesn't work, just write it down in the comment section below and I will find the right pull request for you. Patch it and then answer you back. All right, we have finally come to the end of this episode. If you have any question or doubt, just write it down in the comment section below. Do not forget to subscribe and give it a like. And with that said, see you in the next one. Ciao!